Alright, what do we have left to do? An assassin... An assassination mission. Well, this sequence went pretty quickly. Must be getting to near to the end here. Soon. Who is getting assassinated here? It must be Two Penny. Because I don't think we've met. I don't think Evie really has a target in this sequence. Alright, Two Penny. I'm coming after you. Watch your back. Hello, Aberline. Let's do this thing. say you? You're not gonna like it. Now, see here. I am graced with the Aberline family's robust constitution. Two pennies rob in the Bank of England. <laughs> the governor of the bank. I think I might need to sit down. There's no time for that. Bastard's probably deep in the vault by now. However you get in, I don't want to know. Of course. But do you know how I can get in? The bank is designed to protect England's gold reserves. Fortress, guarded under lock and key. There is the bank manager, Mr. Osborne. Only he is allowed free access to the vault. You can spot him near the entrance. And, oh yes, one man keeps a close watch on the vault door. He watches it like a hawk. If he sees you, he's sure to see that. The guard captain, Gus Howard, knows Tupini well. He is in on this, I'm certain. Mr. Fry, please use discretion. The only way to implicate Tupini is to catch him in the act. Do not jeopardize him. No big displays. This is the Bank of England. If you encounter any trouble, I'll be in the atrium. In disguise. Huh. So your disguise has worked so well before. That vault. Let's see. Bank manager. Kill the head of security. The vault watcher. Assistance opportunity. Oh, so he's going to help us. All right. Can we just walk in? Because that would be super. No, you're not going to let me just walk in.
Entry point. Don't mind if I do. Get down there, Jacob. Jacob, please. Jacob, please. That's done. Oh, I gotta kill the Vault Watcher. I'm sorry. So terribly sorry, my friend. No! Okay, I need to get out of here. Let's try going at this again. Ah, so good to see you again, sir. My apologies for keeping you waiting. Kidnap the bank manager. Now, now, I'll take you in, and you'll see everything is perfectly secure. Whoa. Would you have me do? I rather fancy a private tour of the vault. A gentleman would never do such a thing. Consider yourself warned. <laughs> Uh. How about a personal tour, Mr. Bank Manager? Oh, there's just one guard left alive.
There we are. No need to get into the fight with the others. You've stolen your last shilling from the people of London. Those animals squander their savings. We are the experts in investment. Nothing would be built or improved. Nothing would rise above the muck without our hand guiding. No creating the future. They benefit as much as they're worth. It is their city, not yours. Without our investments, there would be no city. For the path of the dead. Nice. Okay, now we run. Time to run, Jacob. Ah, Jacob. Yeah, yeah, not now. Bank of England is closed until further notice. So proud of yourself. Master Assassin outfit. Are we going back to modern day? We haven't been there a while. Please. A modern story line, please. The currency a laughing stock. Inflation out of control. Twopenny brutally murdered. And yet Parliament does nothing. The bill will be defeated, sir. That buffoon Israeli shall be taken care of. It has been arranged upon my honor. Your honor carries little weight. How dare you, sir? The poor people of this city have suffered enough. Today I granted a significant rise to my staff in order to counter inflation. What? I would supply all of London if I could. Meanwhile, you sit in your club and wax poetic with promises your honor cannot pay. Oh, he's about to stab the dude. Your family's fortune, however. I wonder what they would offer to keep your record out of the newspapers. About the same as Disraeli would offer. For your balls, I wager. But let's be generous. Why limit ourselves to one or the other? When we can have it all. What say you, sir? <gasps> Shall I come collect? Oh. No more dallying. The halls of Parliament must be free to govern. Again. Understood? You may see yourself out. My god, he's such a good villain. Oh, I've got goosebumps. Jacob and Evie have killed two Crawford's two of Crawford's Sterex agents. Philip Twopenny and Lucy Thorne, but the Templars are far from defeated. A conspiracy to assassinate the Prime Minister takes Jacob to the House of Parliament. And despite Evie's triumph over Lucy Thorne, the quest for the Shroud of Eden takes a dramatic turn. Ooh. Ooh. Drama. Hysteric. Men hired. Strike tomorrow. Disraeli's death will stall Corrupt Practices Act indefinitely. Gladstone will be far more pliable. May the father, etc., etc., be. So Sterix got his finger in politics, has he? 
I need to enter the Sinopian Club and find out who B is. Tread delicately around Parliament. As if I don't usually. Your indiscretion at the Bank of England caused British currency to nearly collapse. Nearly is the operative word. Speaking of collapses, what of the key you found that unlocks very little? Henry took it for research. I am confident that the vault is ours. Nearly ours, Evie. Nearly. Let's see what we got here. Ah. Uh, Evie needs to level up. Where's Jacob's mission? Hey! We can do Jacob's mission. 